This is a huge problem that hearing aids need to solve. Hey guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm talking about a huge problem that is plaguing hearing aid users and what some engineers are doing to solve it. Today's hearing aids can do things that we never would have dreamt of 12 years ago, including Bluetooth connectivity, rechargeable batteries that literally last all day, and even app controls that allow you to self-adjust your own devices. But there is still one major issue that is a huge problem for individuals with hearing loss, and that is the ability to to hear in background noise. You know that feeling you get when you walk into a noisy restaurant with your friends or family and you know right off the bat that you're not going to understand a single word that anybody says the entire time you're there? Ultimately, you just end up feeling like an outsider, pretending to laugh when everybody else laughs and just pointing at menu items on the menu to the server. And when the server asks you a follow-up question, you just nod along because you have no clue what they asked you. Fortunately, hearing aids do a very good job of amplifying speech in a quiet environment, so that problem is pretty much solved. However, if you have hearing loss, the holy grail would be for you to go into a noisy environment and not even have to question whether or not you'll be able to understand someone talking to you. This is why being able to understand speech and background noise continues to be the number one goal of everybody who has hearing loss. So let's discuss why this is such a big problem for hearing aids and what the solution to this problem is going to be in the future. But before I do, do me a huge favor and click the like button. It really helps out the channel. And if you are not yet subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, go ahead and do that as well. And a huge shout out to Phonak for sponsoring today's video, but more on them in a little bit. Hearing aids have traditionally used several different methodologies to help you separate speech from background noise. These include noise reduction, directional microphones, and remote microphones. Now, I'm not trying to say that these different methods are not helpful in background noise situations because they can actually help quite a bit. For instance, digital noise reduction allows a hearing aid to identify the modulation differences between speech and noise and reduces the amplification given to the noise while preserving the amplification given to the speech. Directional microphones allow a hearing aid to identify which direction sound is coming from and allows the hearing aid to point the microphones in the direction of the speech that you want to hear. And remote microphones are great because you can take an external microphone and place it closer to the person you want to hear, it picks up their voice and sends it directly into your hearing aids as clearly as possible. These remote microphones are great, but wouldn't it be even better if you could get the performance of a remote microphone without actually having to use one? Well, enter deep neural networks. Now, deep neural networks are not anything new, and a variety of different industries actually use them. Essentially, a deep neural network is a type of machine learning algorithm modeled after the human brain that is designed to solve complex problems. Just like a human brain, deep neural networks have neural connections that receive and process information. In the case of a hearing aid deep neural network, different sound samples are fed into the deep neural network and then the different layers of neurons actually learn what those different sounds are. Once the different characteristics of those sounds are learned by the deep neural network, it can choose which of those sounds to amplify and which of those sounds to suppress. Utilizing this type of a deep neural network inside of a hearing aid removes the necessity of having a human engineer try to develop an algorithm to filter the speech from the noise. The result is a much cleaner speech signal because the deep neural network has done a better job of identifying the speech components that it needs to separate out from the background noise. Well, problem solved, right? Well, not so fast, because there's a challenge that comes along with running a deep neural network, and that is, it requires a ton of processing power, which means you need a lot of energy to make this thing work. But this is what Phonak, today's video sponsor, was able to achieve using their new Deep Sonic chip inside of their Phonak Audio Sphere Infineo hearing aids. Phonak's Deep Sonic chip is one of two chips inside of their new Sphere Infineo hearing aids. While the ERA chip handles the majority of the functionality and processing of their hearing aids, the Deep Sonic chip has one job use artificial intelligence to separate speech from background noise. It uses a deep neural network that was trained with 22 million sound samples. It performs 7.7 .7 billion operations per second through 4.5 million different neural connections to effectively separate speech from background noise. Combined with its directional microphones, it was able to achieve a 10 decibel signal to noise ratio improvement, which is huge. And you wanna know how huge? 
Well, basically every one decibel of signal to noise ratio improvement is roughly equivalent to a 10% improvement in speech understanding while you're in background noise. But why did Phonak have to completely develop a separate chip from the ground up to do this? Because the amount of processing power that was actually required to accomplish this monumental task was massive. In fact, this chip actually requires 53 times more processing power than other standard chips on the market. But the result is almost unbelievable. Just listen to this real world sound sample using the deep sonic chip inside of the new Sphere Infineo hearing aids and you judge for yourself. I play intro song, bro. And I was like, so behind the beat because when I press it down, all of a sudden the pitch shift stuff was behind by like 10 milliseconds, I mean. And that, my friend, is the power of using a dedicated chip powered by the largest deep neural network that exists inside of a hearing aid. At this point, I think it's pretty clear that the future of being able to separate speech from background noise is here, and that future is using artificial intelligence with deep neural networks. Every time I see what hearing aid manufacturers are able to do with their hearing aid technology, it continues to blow my mind. Just thinking back to some of the hearing aids that I trained on back in grad school, where you actually had a screwdriver to adjust a couple of different trim pots on a hearing aid to basically increase and decrease the volume of a hearing aid, or maybe offset the high and low frequencies is almost unbelievable. Now, I don't want to sound too much like my dad here, but I think you should consider yourself fortunate that you have access to some of the most amazing hearing aid technology that has ever been developed, and you can now go into these different noisy situations like restaurants with your family and actually be able to hear what people are saying. And while it is almost impossible to completely restore your hearing, especially in a noisy situation, we are as close as we have ever been. And for some people, we may already be there.